getting ready to paint that azure water on the southern coast of France. I just wanted to show you how I lay, I have my paint mixtures. Already I mix all my paint before I start painting and that way then it's, it's all ready. These colors over here are like these are the distant islands and I just put all my extra paint on the left side of my palette where it's easy to get to. I can always go back if I need a color then I don't have to worry about mixing it again. I've already got it there. But these are mixtures. Now this is my most distant ocean color on the horizon line. It's white plus mud, which is two parts ultramarine blue and one part of alizarin crimson. And then I've added some extra ultramarine blue into that. Then this is this plus a little more ultramarine blue plus white. These two mixtures are white plus ultramarine blue. I have a couple of shades, a darker and a lighter. These two are phthalo blue plus white. Again, I have a darker and lighter shade. These are phthalo turquoise blue plus white. And again, I did a darker and lighter shade. Then here I have my ultramarine, well, it's mainly white with a little bit of ultramarine blue. That'll be for my distant uh, surf and waves. Just, again, I don't want to use pure white there because it would jump forward too much. So again, on my watercolors, you can see or the colors for the water, you can see that our muted tones come into the brighter tones. These will be in the distance and middle ground, and then these will be in the foreground. So let's get to painting. The angles are a little bit skewed because I have to have my, cam my camera at an angle to the canvas. If I put it directly straight onto the canvas, then I'd be in front of it, and you couldn't see how I paint. So we're going to start with our distant water here. I think there's a little bigger brush right here. These are bright brushes that has a square end and I really prefer these. That's my Molly in the background. She's wanting to go outside. She's just going to have to wait. But I just, again, I start with this is ultramarine blue plus the white. I want this darker, and then I'm going to have some little light coming right through there. I want some dark streaks in here. I'm going to have flowers there, so I just I want to leave a hint of those sunflowers at the center so I don't lose my, my plan. This is ultramarine blue plus white. And now I start, as I start coming forward, I start doing a little bit of my phthalo blue. My brush just kind of picks up the two colors and works them together. I'll bring some of those phthalo blue brush strokes. I clean my brush every few strokes. I use a lot of tissue to just wipe my my brush clean. The secret to clean color on your palette is a clean brush. I want this to be a little darker here because this this peninsula extends on here and since our light's coming from the right this is going to be in shadow here. And I still use a few little streaks of my ultramarine blue plus white in here. So that ocean color is varied. I mean, it's not all the same solid color. As we start coming forward, we'll start using some of that brighter phthalo turquoise blue. I want a little bit of, not just a little bit of light hits in there. See, this is this mix I have is a little bit too dark, so I want to lighten that just a tiny bit. So this is my phthalo turquoise blue plus white. Since I'm getting down here with a little bit smaller area, I'm going to use a little narrower brush. And I want my lightest 
they low turquoise blue down here because this pulls your eye down into that distance. Makes you want to just go down to that beach down there because you just know there's one down there. And that water is just so bright and beautiful. And this comes in behind the buildings. Now these buildings will be darker, so that light on the water will really glow. Now I'm even going to make this a little bit lighter. And add just a tiny touch of lemon yellow in there. It's not, it's just pretty imperceptible. But it just makes it a little bit greener, a little bit more intense. And that just brings that water forward. Just. The water come, becomes greener as it comes forward because the soil there is a creamy color, the rocks. And so as they show through the blue water, it becomes more green. So we have some streaks of darker in here. Go over to my wall. I work around my building. We want to have light coming in here. That helps to give depth. And by bringing light in behind a dark structure, that gives the feeling more of a feeling of depth. Make this just a little bit lighter down in here. When we get those darks in there, that's really going to just pull your eye into the distance. These buildings will frame the buildings and the flowers here. The dark foliage will really just frame that, that bright color. Painting water is something that is taking, taking me years to learn, and I learn more every time I paint. It's, um, painting is a learning process. It's, it's, you never, gosh, you never know it all. And I, I strive to grow with each painting that I do. Having to change out my tissue here, I, I ran out, so. But my goal is to make each painting, to, to learn on each painting. Always want to be learning, improving, just moving forward always growing. Jack did a portrait of Ray Kroc, the founder of McDonald's. And Ray, as Jack was doing color studies of Ray's skin tones, Ray said, Jack, I'm going to tell you something. He said, when you're green, you're growing. When you get ripe, you start to rot. So what he meant by that is, 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 is you're always striving to learn, then you're growing. You're using your mind and just continuing to grow. When you think you know it all, then you, you just kind of start to rot. You, you're not learning anymore. You're not active with your brain. And I just, my goal is to just keep learning as I paint. Now I want a little bit of that lighter turquoise phthalo blue in here because I want, to come, want it to come in behind that chimney. Now I can just, since my sketch is dry, I can just come back and kind of erase the paint that's gone over the sketch. I just take a clean brush. Molly, you're just going to have to wait. She wants to go outside. Now, what I'm going to do is I want to show you back here. I am going to use a little bit of my phthalo blue plus white because back here between these two little outcroppings, the sun's going to be hitting this little spot back here. And so the color of that water just gets a little brighter right in there. Now I'm still going to use some of my ultramarine blue plus white in there just to dull it just a little bit. And then that water comes, the light comes through here. This is my ultramarine blue plus white. I just let that 
just zip across there. And that light coming in behind that bluff there helps give depth to the painting. We have a little sliver of light there. And then my distant, that to be, there we go. Okay, now I want just to bring another little sliver right there. Yeah. Okay, now our distant, we have distant waves hitting that little outcropping here. And I can just take this little brush, and this is my white plus a little bit of ultramarine blue. And that just gives me just give just a hint of those waves back there. That distant surf just pulls your eye back a little bit to that little hint of light in the distance. Again, that comes in behind that dark, dark outcropping. If you'd like to see how this painting turns out, just visit my blog. I show the entire step-by-step -step process on my blog and the link is in the description below. It's also the address is on the final frame of my YouTube video. And I have a lot of people say, oh my gosh, you know, I love this painting, but how did it turn out? Well, if you'll go to my blog, you'll see. I'm going to put a few more little distant waves back in here. And these are on the shadow side, so they're a little bit darker. Of the, they have a little bit more ultramarine blue mixed in with the light. And then we have a few waves kind of hitting along here. Crashing up there. So there we go. That's how I paint that beautiful azure water off the coast of France. Thank you so much for watching my YouTube videos. Please subscribe to my channel. And to, just remember, today is a great day to have a great day. And just be a blessing to someone today. You know, be an encourager. Help somebody. We all have so much to give and just there's so many people that we can help and, along the way. So you just have a wonderful, wonderful day and thank you again.